I talked about what it's like to be involved as a research participant and how difficult that can be for people with dementia because we feel more like lab rats than we feel like human beings and we're talked about uh, with very negative disrespectful language uh, and uh, once the research project is over then we're dropped never to be spoken to again as if we don't exist. So it's a difficult experience for patients um, but I also talked about the desire of people with dementia wanting to be in research and until quite recently they've been left out of the research um, primarily and if you've been diagnosed with a terminal disease like dementia, especially one where there's currently no disease modifying treatment or a cure, you actually want to feel like you're doing something for future generations. So I have two sons who could get dementia. Um, I'd really like to be doing something positive towards improving uh, outcomes for people with dementia down the track. And I'd really like there to be a lot more research into improving the diagnostic, the post-diagnostic process uh, and pathway of support and also uh, much more research is needed into improving care. Involving people with dementia in conferences like this and other public events where they feel like they can have a voice. People want to be involved in research and uh, the UK has got Join Dementia Research uh, an online forum with 16,000 people registered now. I advocate strongly for that to um, go further into other countries. I know that America's got a similar, uh, a similar um, service. Uh, we don't have one in Australia yet, but the other organisation that I'm chair of, Dementia Alliance International, because we are exclusive membership to people with dementia, so only if you have a medically diagnosed dementia can you become a member. We've actually become a, um, uh, a site for researchers to come to because I can access my database. I don't ever give out um, our database to other people, but I can send out research opportunities to members in Australia or America or the whole database um, that people then have the choice of whether they contact the researcher or not. So we keep confidentiality, obviously. But that's been a very, very useful way in Australia particularly, and I, perhaps because I've got a relationship with a lot of the researchers there. Um, they're coming to us now a lot for research.